first off, it's Charles Gay. And just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burke. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have Turk me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, um, Anthony Joshua, he got his sauce back, bro. Got his sauce back. Um, definitely happy for you. Great performance. Um, and another thing I want to say, you weren't necessarily supposed to do this. Now, nah, this was supposed to be the upset. I got to give you full credit on this win. Otto Wilder, in my opinion, beat Fatback Fury. That referee saved Fury. All that blood that was leaking out of his... Uh, I thought I thought Wilder won just like I thought Ngana won. Um, Wilder is a very good fighter. He better than Joseph Parker. I think he better than a lot of fighters. I think Otto Wilder is better than a lot of fighters. And I think he'll give some of your favorite heavyweights trouble. Otto Wilder is a very good fighter. I don't want him good. I can't lie about that. That motherfucker tricky. Good southpaw. Very good. Very good and sturdy. And got enough power to keep you up off his ass. Wallen was very good. And this was the fight I was most worried about. I said, man, he's gonna outbox Joshua. And he and he and he can probably clip him because Wallen love to catch you off balancing and throw that looping ass uh left. And he's good with the straight left. And it, it, if he hits you with enough of him, he can hurt you, bro. He not a knockout artist, but that motherfucker is accurate with that left hand, bro. <sighs> I'm going to tell you how you got your sauce back. First and foremost, I'm going to say some shit that, you know, it may even sound like a contradiction to uh, what I believe in. Uh, ben Davidson is better suited for you, Joshua. It's not Derrick James, bro. Derrick James, just, just you don't need to come back to Dallas. We appreciate you coming to Texas. Uh, shout out to you. You dealt you dealt with this hot ass heat. Uh, you did enough. Uh, Derrick James is not the coach for you, bro. It's Ben Davidson. Got to be honest, bro. I, I don't follow many UK trainers, but Ben Davidson is a hell of a coach. Hell of a coach. The fairest version of Fatback Fury was the first wilder fight, and that was the best version. Because I don't trust the second and third version when you punching and it's like it's a sledgehammer in your guy. You, you wobbling a man out. Now all of a sudden, can't nobody take your punches. No, when you was fair, it was the first fight. And that was with Ben Davidson. That's when Fury was boxing. That's when he was moving. And that's when he wasn't punching like Sonny Liston. Ben Davidson is a very good trainer. I got to be honest. Ben Davidson is a very, very good trainer. And I think he's the trainer for you. I'm telling you right now. Ben Davidson, he done brought some shit back, and he said it in the build-up. He said, Anthony Joshua back. He said, he fucking dudes up and spawn. He different. He back. He back punching. I'm going to tell you your biggest flaw. And I'm not going to give Ben Davidson a whole lot of credit. He just, whatever he done, it helped. It, it's not what he physically taught you. It's not even about the fundamentals, because he good with boxes. But it's whatever he got you to, you at peace. Um, he brought it back out of you. I don't know how he done it. You back? You the same AJ that fought Klitschko? You the same AJ that knocked out uh Pavekin? Not as young, not as youthful. Got more wear and tear on your body, but you ain't got a lot of wear and tear. You ain't been punished a lot. You never been knocked out cold or no shit like that. Um, Joshua is back. Tell you why he back. Um, like I said, whatever Ben Davidson brought back, it's the killer instinct. I, just point blank period, killer instinct is back. That's what you was lacking. I'm gonna tell you something. Joshua started trying to be a fundamental, technically sound fighter, and it, it failed you, bro. Trying to just show good fundament and show your ring IQ. That shit was never for you. I think you is a good boxer when you box, but you wasn't good. You couldn't outbox Usyk. We all knew that, bro. Usyk a good boxer. He's a better boxer than you. That's why you lost twice in both fights. You tried to outbox him, bro. This version of you would have destroyed Usyk, bro. It would have never been no rematch. This version would have destroyed him. And your problem in the end of Ruiz fight, you underestimated his hand speed. You was going to destroy him, but you had to watch for the counters. You was not watching for the counters. That's how he clipped you. Had you been more, you should have been aggressive but cautious. 
You should have been more defensive. You thought as soon as you heard him, it was over. Nah. Ruiz shocked you with his hand speed and power. But anyway, uh, but you still was a better fighter. But um, it's the power, bro. People don't realize, bro, when you believe in your power, it takes you to another level. It takes you to it. Joshua used to believe in his power, and that's why he was so dangerous to me. Joshua can box. He's a he's the boxer puncher. When he's a boxer puncher, he's hard to beat. When he's a boxer puncher, Joshua been just trying to box. He ain't been letting it. He ain't been sitting down on his punches like that. He wasn't even able to jo uh, stop Jermaine Franklin them. Uh, what's that other dude he fought? He wasn't able to stop none of them. Oh, he did stop Hellenius. But um, he got a little gun shot after the Ruiz fight. And I'm going to tell you something about Joshua that I do respect. You were honest. You've been trying to find yourself, bro. That's why you've been from trying to try. You've been trying to. You've been. It ain't been the fundamental. You ain't been trying to be taught a certain thing. You've been trying to get your heart back. You've been trying to find that sauce. That's how it ain't the trainers. And it ain't so. Like I said, Ben Davidson, a good trainer. And I think he's a better trainer for you than Dave. Derrick James. That don't mean he's a better trainer than Derrick James. No, just a better trainer for you. Because whatever he done, bro, it helped you get your sauce back. You got your sauce back. Um, it's hard to beat an Anthony Joshua that believes in his power. Joshua got the best uppercut in boxing. No, Tank. <laughs> you got the second best uppercut in boxing. The uppercut can stop anybody. Um, Good job. You always had a good job. Very good job. I always thought you had a good job. Um, You don't got terrible defense, but I'm telling you, it's when you when you sitting down on your punches, your the, your opponent, it makes it changes everything up. Joshua Power changes everything when he's boxing, but punching, he changed he he changed the game, bro. Otto Wallen was not expecting that. Otto Wallen was expecting you to try to box with him, cause had you just tried to box with Otto Wallen, he would have counted you all night. It's that you were stepping into them shots, you were stepping in. You ain't been doing it. You ain't did that since before the uh, Ruiz fight. You ain't been stepping in. You stepped in. I'm telling you right now, bro. Um, I ain't even got time to just match make. I ain't even to say what this fighter do. But I, you know. And I don't talk about, like I said, I, I think this version of you would have stopped Usyk for sure. But I don't know if you'll ever get that third fight, bro. You, he beat you twice. So I I don't think fans are ever demanded. They they already demanded you versus Fatback for your day. They finna try to do the UK, UK. And you won't beat them. And I'm gonna tell you why. I don't trust Fatback Fury would never lose to a black fighter. I'm <laughs> just that. And and he lost to Ghana, but Ghana was an African. That's you know, it's a little different. I'm, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Black Americans are not loved nowhere. Oh, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. I talked that shit about them Arabs and, and told Wilder, bro. This is cause Wilder talking about this is second home, bro. That is not your say. Them people don't love you like that, and they're gonna tax you on some real estate like they tax us on our jury out here. But I'm just saying. The point I make it is, uh, Wilder thought that shit was his second home, but Joseph Parker got a bigger cheer than him. The people didn't not cheer for you like that. But I will say this, Anthony Joshua, they love him. Now, now you loved out there, so I can't even say it's a black thing. I just think, I think, I think, you know, I just think some about black American fighters, we just not loved over. Uh, when we go fight other places, we never really get cheered for. So that's all I'm noticing, but. Uh, they accept you, Joshua. That, that's damn near your. Really, uh, Wilder said that shit was no Joshua. That's his second home. He done fought over there four, five times. Um, yeah, they love you over there. Um, I think, man, you better than Fury, bro. But I'm just saying, you ain't gonna lose. Uh, Fury, Fury, bro. They better have all kind of testing and all kind of shit, bro. Uh, Fury gonna be on that shit when he fights you, bro. I, I, I'm telling you, bro. Fury was never better than Joshua. I always said the best two heavyweights was Wilder and Joshua. I always said it, and I'm gonna say another thing, bro. Wilder had a poor, poor performance, terrible performance. But if he go back to coming forward, come behind the jab, jab right hand. If he go back to the, just regular shit he used to do, I know they talked about. See, Wilder got the caring about what white folks think. Yeah, when white folks told him, uh, <laughs> which is mainstream media. When white folks told him, oh, he, he can't box when he fought fair. I and mean, he don't have fundamentals. He can't box. You started trying to box. 
You start trying to please the people. You should have went to what the fuck you know, bro. Go back to what the fuck you know. Give a fuck how it look, how sloppy. They can say you fight like uh, Shaniqua and them. Go back to fighting like Shaniqua and them, bro. Go back to fighting how you used to fight in the uh, ghettos of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Yeah, back when you was on that bird truck, bro. You need to go back swinging like that. Because that backpedaling shit will never work. With your... Why the hell his hands down? And, and he fight with his hands down. You just leaning back with that. I, I told you, bro. Why the damn that look like Ryan? Leaning that damn head back like, bro, you a knockout waiting to happen trying to fight. I told you, bro, uh, you you going to have to look at my wider reaction video. But Malik Scott, bro, that shit he teaching ain't the shit. That's how Malik used to fight. Just never throw punches and just bounce and move. And try to be fundamentally, technically sound and shit, bro. That shit don't work. <laughs> Wild is better when he come forward, step in with the jab, right hand. And and throw the, throw the left hook more, go to the body a little more. Do some shit like that But that back foot Fighting on the back foot It ain't it That shit is not it It will not work That shit won't work So Just like Joshua had to realize uh, When he step into his shots He's much more dangerous Why well, the gotta go back to Stepping into them shots And intimidating his opponents Like he used to That back foot shit You give your opponents Way too much uh, confidence And Joseph Parker Had so much confidence uh, at, at, at one point in the fight He just wasn't even cautious no more Anyway, uh, Joshua, I, I I think one could argue that Joshua is the best heavyweight in the world. Because, like I said, I don't even rank Fatback Fury. I don't think, bro, I'm telling you, bro, Usyk is a body shot uh, from being stopped. I think your toughest fight is Wilder and Zane. Wilder and Zane. Wilder and Zane. Them your toughest fights. But I think you can outbox Zane. I ain't finna get into the wild of uh, AJ Cause that shit may be over Eddie Hearn finna block this shit down He got a reason that we're here Yeah he got a perfect reason Now to block that shit Yeah 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 He, he uh, You know I hate it bro Why did you done gave him a reason You done gave the box one. Oh boy they, they never wanted this fight They never wanted two black kings fighting bro They never wanted that shit And that shit may be over That shit may be over but I thought it would have been a great fight for boxing, bro, Wilder and Joshua. I still want it. I think Wilder needs to uh, rematch uh, Joseph, though. I think I think, I think think you need to redeem yourself and rematch him. I really want to see the re I think I think Wilder needs to rematch him. But Joshua, um, when Joshua believes in his power, he better he better than Usyk, bro. And Fury, like I said, Fury going to need that dope and some more gypsy shit to beat Joshua, bro. You're not better. You're not better. And I'm telling you something, ever since that Wilder fight, uh, Fury ain't punching like uh, Ernie Shavers no more. Yeah, when Fatback Fury ain't punching like Ernie Shavers and he ain't got that shit that uh, old, old, old Sugar Hill done gave him, he just a regular-ass fighter, bro. We saw it when in Ghana, but... Anyway, and another thing, for all you boxing enthusiasts, motherfuckers, that always want to shit on black fighters, like I said, bro, I'm disappointed in Wilder, but I ain't gonna let you shit out of him. Listen, uh, it's a lot of motherfuckers in heavyweight that ain't that good. Yeah, Wilder coming off a loss, but I thought Fury lost. I thought Usyk got stopped to the body, so it's a lot of suspect performances. A lot of suspect performance. I'm going to be real, bro. The best talent is at welterweight and lightweight. Well, 140, 135, welterweight. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best talent. And Morella is super middleweight. That's the best talent, bro. The heavyweight division, I got even though I think Joshua is very, very good, the best talent, um, this heavyweight division is decent. Um, it ain't a historic though. It ain't it ain't a historic uh, heavyweight division. I gotta tell the truth and be honest. Um, really ain't nobody to shit. <laughs> no, uh, everybody can be beaten the heavyweight division. It ain't no superior. No, no, no. We dealing with a crop of heavyweights where everybody ain't nobody reigns supreme. See Lennox, uh, he reigns supreme. Uh, Ali, uh, Larry Holmes, now, um. Joe Lewis with them 22 title defense. Uh, heavyweight used to reign supreme. And even if they did lose, because they'll lose, but they'll fight four or five times. They'll fight the same person four or five times. Um, yeah, that's how it used to be. Uh, but there's no heavyweight that has dominated the heavyweight division since Lennox Lewis. So it's hard for me to say somebody has, nobody has separated themselves. Nobody. Us Usyk think he's sleep, bro. He can't. Joshua was, was on his robotic shit when uh, Usyk fought him, and Joshua was trying to box him, bro. That's the worst shit you ever did. Was trying to be a fundamentally sound 
a boxer and the worst shit Wilder could have ever thought was that uh, backwards, a uh, backpedaling ass footwork with your head straight on the goddamn line and your only way of getting out of the punch because your hands are down and you just want to lean your head back and think you finna weave every punch. I knew, I said, why does an overhand right uh, from happening? I, I didn't, he's an overhand right knockout from happening, bro. Just knew it, bro. All that leaning back with your head. Man, Malik Scott, I'm so disappointed. I'm more disappointed in Malik Scott because all that technically sound shit, bro. I just knew, bro. I just know. Malik Scott is not the trainer, bro. He is not that. That motherfucker just no boxing, but that don't mean you can teach that shit. It don't mean you're a great trainer. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. He was. No, bro. Wilder need to go back to this. Step in with the right jab, with the left jab. Step in with the jab, right hand. You need to go back to that shit and throw in the left hook. But if nothing else, Wilder must work on his inside game. Wilder has never had an inside. Like I said, while you teaching him that back foot shit and fighting on the back foot and just hopping around uh, and all that shit there, what's that shit called when we used to uh, bounce and then you jump in? What's that shit? <laughs> I'm trying to think of that game. <laughs> no, no, no. What's that game where you just bouncing, you hopping? And he just jump in. I can't. Oh, yeah, we used to jump rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just bouncing and then you jump in and get the jump rope and shit like that. Yeah, that shit there. And they, what's that shit? And see, anyway, but the point I'm making is that shit don't work, bro. Um, no, nah, bro, that shit, that shit is so disappointing. I'm so disappointed in Malik Scott. Uh, I'm so disappointed. Uh, that shit, that fucking game plan was trash. That shit, man, I'm so dead. I could make five more videos about that wild uh, post fight. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to probably touch on it tomorrow. I'm so fucking disappointed. But I'm I, I'm disappointed in Wilder, but I'm disappointed in Malik Scott. I swear to God, bro, you need some criticism. That shit you think you teaching and you talking about all that science and all them goddamn fans. Bro, I swear to God. It, I'm not going to get on it because I'm going to get up. All that goddamn unnecessary ass fighting and when nothing coming behind that shit. Nah, bro. Um, anyway, Joshua, um, yeah, you got your sauce back because your sauce to me is your power and believing in it. Like I, when jo it ain't no fundamentals. It ain't nothing else. Joshua need to learn about some technically sound and, and boxing and, and developing skill. You don't need to do none of that shit. Go back to punching mo and knocking motherfuckers out. That's what you need to do. Box your way into it, but knock them the fuck out. So when you get back to that shit, like I said, that's what makes you dangerous. That's what brings you sauce. This is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.